Hi, I'm Derek Jordan. Uh, thanks for joining us today on the World Fusion Show, uh, uh, where we bring you the leading innovators in World Fusion music. Today, my guest is Cecilia Zabala, who is a, a singer-songwriter, composer, guitarist, and is currently on a tour of the U.S. Um, thank you, Cecilia, for joining us today. Welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to be here, yeah. Derek. So how is your tour going? Oh, it's going great. I'm, I'm, uh, it's, it's awesome. I'm meeting new people, making new friends, uh, playing music, uh, uh, being in new cities like uh, Brattleboro, for example. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's my first time here. It's kind of a cool town, right? Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, that's great. So you're from Argentina. You grew up there in Buenos Aires. Yeah, um, I was born in Buenos Aires and grew up there. Yeah. Um, and um, so um, you have eight CDs that you've released. That's a lot of music. You've been at this a while. So um, how did you get started in music? Uh, I started when I was a little child studying guitar in, in a teacher uh, from my neighborhood. And uh, after a while, I also started to sing in a choral. Mm -hmm. So that, that thing of playing and singing was some kind of uh, game uh, for me, was very natural. Right. So you've described your music to me as a dialogue between the voice and the guitar. You want to say a little bit about that, how you think of your music? Yeah. Uh, after, um, after searching for a, a personal voice that is the... the uh, the most difficult things that musicians have to do. Yeah. Um, for a long time, I realized that I was doing some kind of the same I used to do when I was a teenager and I played uh, some the police stuff or some different uh, Argentinian rock stuff or folklore from Argentinian stuff that singing and playing and that uh, the secret of, of, of my music is a, an intimate dialogue between the voice and the guitar where sometimes you, you feel like the, the guitar is singing or the voice is playing melodies. Right, yeah. that's really nice. So let's, why don't we go to the first video clip and give people an example of your dialogue okay. between voice and guitar.
smells really beautiful. Oh, thank like, you. Like that. And that's from your new CD, right? Yeah, this is the song that gives the name to my last album, uh, El Color del Silencio, or The Color of Silence. And for me, it, it, it's very special, uh, this album, because it's like um, an union of what, like a, um, a different way of, of reading my own language mm. after being playing with the band and doing some other projects with, with the duo with Philip Adam Powell before, it's like going uh, uh, back to the, the heart of my music. Mm, that's nice. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the world fusion aspect. Um, you w got into guitar playing pretty seriously and went to conservatory in Argentina, right? Yeah. And started to study classical guitar. Yeah. So what drew, what drew you to classical guitar? Well, that's very, it's, it's pretty funny because when I decided to be a musician, I was 14. Mm -hmm. And in a way, I had to convince my family, my mom, my dad, that being a musician was a good thing <laughs> and what, what was what I really want to do with all my heart. That's right. So um, I was advised by, by my teacher in the choral, and they were before, they, they had been uh, studying in the conservatory. So as, as w uh, during those days, I used to go to the rock concerts and to sing folk music, but I went to study classical music. Mm -hmm. And for me, music is so beautiful that um, I'm always behind. I I want to uh, study. I I had no problem with studying classical yeah. guitar, and I love the music I I the, I knew from who, those years. Who are your favorite classical composers that influenced you? Oh well, I I really love the stuff from Leo Brauer, the Cuban the Cuban composer Leo Brauer. Oh, I don't know. Or or yeah. Hector Villalobos from Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and in Argentina, in the Argentinian folk, there is a way of playing the guitar that is very similar than the classical guitar. Mm. It's not like uh, here, for example, in, this, in the state that the popular guitar must be the electric or the acoustic and the classical is another kind but not mm -hmm. so popular. Mm -hmm. In Argentina, there are many, many uh, guitar players which plays um, an amazing stuff of folklore with classical technique. That's they right. are very together. And uh, there's a, well, very, very well-known guitar players and composer in Argentina, Kike Sinesi, Juan Falú, Raúl Carnota, um, Atahualpa Chupanqui, Eduardo Falú from the, the very beginning. And, and none of these names have I ever heard here uh -huh. in the States? And it's interesting, right? I think Atahualpa and, and Eduardo Falú played here. Yeah. And I know that Kike and, yeah. and Juan Falú also play. Yeah. But, but well, it's yeah. not so easy to yeah. get yeah. here. No. Too. It's great to, to know that. So um, you're Argentinian. And here in the States, we don't know that much about your music of your country. What we think of when we think of Argentina is tango. Yeah. That's the thing. And maybe as a composer, Piazzolla is well known and played a lot in the classical world. Um, but uh, I don't hear a lot of tango in your music. No. And but yeah, yeah you can say. Some. But it's not that I don't like tango oh, or no. I, I didn't play tango, but um, I think. Uh, that there are other kind of style in the Argentinian music that are more free, yes. are more, more space to yes. create new things. Um, uh, the tango is magical, it's very special, special but, um, but in a way it's, it's more um, close. Yes, I understand. Now, you had a very special experience also part of this world fusion that you bring together when you went to Brazil. Yeah. When you were only 19. I think it was a life-changing experience for you. Yeah, it was. What happened when you went there? Well, I went there and I had some, um, some discoveries. 
uh, that changed my life. Um, in a way, first of all, of, first of all, when I went there, I just used to play classical stuff, and I didn't understand about harmony or popular rhythms right. or improvisation. And I uh, I met this new world and couldn't stand uh, to get into it. Um, that's why after that period I I. I started to study that that kind of of stuff to mm. to develop uh, another language, you mm. know, and uh, also meeting with the Brazilian music it was so powerful, so nice. Every the 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 workshop was two weeks, and every night we had a concert. At the teacher, some teachers, some other teacher playing solo together, inter releasing an album, and um, in in one of the concerts, I sit down in the, f I think it was the second line, and a guy with uh, some some uh, something in the hair and the, uh, the hair the long hair set came to the stage and started to play like. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, he went to the piano, and <laughs> <laughs> and I was totally uh, impressed. He was like Berto Gismonti. <laughs> One of my favorite yeah, musicians. Yeah, mine too. On the planet. Yeah, yeah, and the same the same thing happened with Armando Pascual. Yes. And they they both did uh, some kind of master class, at, uh, and and we enjoyed a lot. Also, o obviously, in those days, I didn't speak. Uh, Portuguese, so it was uh, totally new for yeah. me, and also I was so lucky to find to, to take some classes that uh, Baden Powell gave three afternoons, mm. and w that's where I met his son Philip Baden Powell. And you've been working with Philip now for twenty years, long time, right? Well, we met in those days, mm. and and our friendship started. In, in those days, we were kind of kids, yeah. and uh, in those days there was no internet. No. no. So, and we lived in different countries, uh, so we wrote letters right. to, to communicate with each other. Um, and uh, after some years, some 10, 15 years, we, we got together again when I, well, he moved to Paris, um, and I was touring, doing my, my own music in different places of Europe, so he invited me to, to his house to spend some days and to, to do another kind, more real friendship, you know. Yeah, yeah. So we started to share, to listen to music together, to, to play, yeah. and it was about in 2012 that we started to, to, uh, to work in our project together. Yeah. I, I met him uh, last week, when a couple of weeks ago, when you were here and played. I think he's a tremendous musician. He's amazing. Really yeah. great piano player, really creative guy. Why don't we go to the video now with you and him okay. that you did together? Okay. Yeah. I need to explain what I don't see. Necessário pensar o que vai ser, pois passo o tempo e a gente aqui não vê. Brincando de imaginar a cor do sol, a nossa infância feliz.
Parecemos crianças we can really hear the Brazilian yeah. influence there very strong and you're singing in Portuguese Love as God. well yeah. um, it's really lovely and I, I love the, the fusion of all these things that you're bringing you know bringing together um, with that um, so um, tell me um, where does your inspiration come from well I think my inspiration comes from um, simple pleasures of life, uh, like when you you are able to see things like the, for the first time, like mm. when you were a child. Mm. Is there anything else you'd like to share with us and the, our viewers before you go? Oh, I I was thinking about this concept um, of. Uh, world fusion mm. uh, and what is really um, uh, not so easy is to find your identity, your own identity, mm. um, even when you are f in a world fusion. Mm. Uh, and um, and we still are think I think musicians and artists are always. Uh, looking for that identity yeah. uh, that maybe is not from from your own music maybe mm. your answers were from other other place and uh, and you can discover that your heart is on that music and that is wonderful I think so too thank you um, let's go to the final clip video yeah. clip this is also with Philippe baden Powell <laughs> Thank you so much to our wonderful guest, Cecilia Zabala. Thank you for today. your invitation. Thank you. And thanks for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. Um, uh, it's been great. We're going to bring you lots more music. And um, remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.
Buscando calor 